At Cucina con noi point it today we have pumpkin ravioli from Mantua. This is a typical dish prepared especially for Christmas Eve. The ingredients we need for about 4 or 6 portions are 800 grams of pumpkin, 100 grams of Amarati biscuits, 100 grams of apple mustard, 1 egg yolk, 1 pinch of grated nutmeg, 2 or 3 tablespoons of breadcrumbs, 160 grams of grated grana, 80 grams of butter, 300 grams of flour and 3 eggs to prepare the dough. First, after slicing the pumpkin, we put it in a baking pan and then in the oven at 180 degrees for about 30 minutes until it becomes soft. Meanwhile, we can prepare the egg pasta with a flour and three eggs. For more details of the recipe, you can visit our website cucinaconnoi.it. Once we have a compact and smooth mixture, we cover it with a plastic wrap and let it rest. At this point, we finally chop the apple mustard and mill the amaretti biscuits. We can use the food processor or just a hammer or a rolling pin. Once the pumpkin is soft enough, we whisk it with a handheld liquidizer or we sieve it. When the puree is cold enough, we add the egg yolk and drip it in order to mix all the ingredients. After that, we add the dust of Amarati biscuits. Half of the cheese. And the mustard. And then we mix everything together. We add a pinch of grated nutmeg and salt. Then we cover the mixture with a plastic wrap and let it rest for at least an hour. We just have to roll the pastry out and prepare the ravioli. The pastry should be 1 mm thick, so we have to cut in quarters of 4 or 6 cm per side. We place the mixture in the center. Um, I will have uh, put in a pastry bag it, uh, for practical use. So we form the ravioli. We glue the ends in order to create a triangle shaped piece and press down with the fingers to seal. So at this point we join the ends and we press down in order to seal the pastry completely. We go on until we finish all the ingredients and uh, if necessary we can brush lightly the dough with water. At this point we start cooking the ravioli so we cook them in salted boiling water. Meanwhile, in a large pot we melt the butter and let it warm up until it becomes foamy. The ravioli are cooked so uh, we scoop out the ravioli using a sludge skimmer and place in a serving dish or in an oven pan. We drizzle with the melted butter and we sprinkle with the grated grana. We serve the ravioli still warm and we can flavor the butter with some sage leaf to taste. Bye from Sonia, thank you for paying attention and see you to the next recipe.